Disneyana Elsa, Memory and Magic, Chapter 1 Hello, beloved readers! Today, I have an exciting story to share with you. I hope it brings you joy and excitement. Today, Luna have a book named Disney Anna, Elsa, Memory and Magic, Chapter 1. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe to the Kid Channel for more stories. Thank you for reading. So, here we go. One, two, three, Princess Anna of Arendelle shouted. Her feet were perched at the edge of a floating slab of ice. The ice flow bobbed through the rapids of Odin's fjord, an icy waterway. The narrow lane of water had steep banks made of stone. At the count of three, Anna leapt from one patch of ice to another. Anna, be careful, Elsa called from the royal barge. But there was no stopping her younger sister. Even though Elsa was queen and ruled the village, there were times when it seemed that Anna was really the one in charge. She had been out of the boat and on the ice before anyone had the chance to try to talk. Her out of it. Careful is my middle name. Anna replied. Really? Elsa asked doubtfully. The last time I checked, it was not nearly careful enough. Anna skipped back and forth across the floating sheets of ice. When she landed on an ice floe next to the royal barge, she hopped on board, joining her sister. You know that I could use magic to help you? Elsa asked her. I could freeze the water under your feet, feet. It's more fun this way, Anna insisted. The barge they stood on was a long, slow-moving boat. Too slow, Anna thought. Normally, it was. Used to transport goods to neighboring villages. Today, Elsa had suggested they take it on a tour of the George. Anna had been enjoying the tour, but she thought it could use a little more action. When she saw the swirling rapids, she knew it was the perfect place to try ice hopping. And she was right. She loved the thrill of jumping from one sheet of ice to the next. The bubbling currents of the fjord made for an exciting challenge. Your turn, Anna said to Elsa. Elsa gazed out at the choppy waves. I don't know, Anna, she said hesitantly. It looks fun, but I think I'll pass. You'll be fine, Anna told her. Besides, we made a deal. I try something you like. You try something. I like are you sure this is what you like? asked Elsa. She watched the ice flows bob and dip on them. Hurry. Positive, Anna said. And no magic. Elsa squared her shoulders and took a deep breath. She got ready to take the plunge. Actually, the point was not to plunge. The point was to land safely on the ice. Elsa jumped off the deck. Your Majesty, the boat captain cried in alarm. It's okay, Klaus, Anna said. She meant to do that. Elsa landed easily on a patch of ice. She looked unsure, but she was safe and sound. She found her balance as the ice floated on the choppy water. After a moment, she hopped to the next sheet of ice drifting. Downstream. Elsa leaped from flow to flow for a few moments and quickly returned to the barge. As she climbed on deck, Anna congratulated her. 
Not bad for your first time ice hopping, she said. I think it'll be my last, Elsa replied. You didn't like it? Anna asked. It's definitely exciting, Elsa answered. But maybe a little too thrilling for my taste. Anna snorted at the word taste. The day before, it had been Anna's turn to try something else alike. Elsa had decided she wanted her sister to eat pickled herring, her favorite fish. Anna had hated the smell of it as a child, so she never ate it. Elsa thought it was high time for Anna to give it another try. When the castle chef had set the large platter of fish in front of Anna that day, she'd wrinkled her nose. Pickled herring has a funny smell, she thought. The scent drifted through the dining room. Anna's stomach lurched. Reluctantly, she placed a tiny piece of fish on her plate. Elsa had already started eating. She'd been looking forward to the meal all day. She gazed at Anna expectantly. Anna speared a forkful of fish and brought it to her lips. The trouble was she didn't want to open her mouth. Don't be so dramatic, Elsa said. The worst that could happen is that you don't like it. I'm not so sure. What if this fish pickles my insides, Anna joked. Elsa smiled patiently. Slowly, Anna opened her mouth. She tucked the fish inside and squeezed her lips shut. She chewed. Quickly. The faster she chewed it, the less time she had to taste it. Finally, Anna managed to swallow it. Down. So, what do you think? Elsa asked. It's just as weird as I thought it would be, Anna said. Weird? Pickled herring is the cook's specialty, said Elsa. Anna shrugged. Sorry, she said. But I especially don't like it. She wrinkled her nose again. How? Can you eat this stuff? Elsa didn't reply. She simply shoveled another forkful into her mouth. She smiled with pleasure as she gobbled it down. Judging by the look on her face, one would think pickled herring was the most delicious food in the world. It was clear that Anna and her sister had very different tastes. Back on the boat, Anna was surprised that Elsa didn't love ice hopping as much as she did. It was so much better than eating pickled fish. Instead of trying things only one of us likes, let's find something we both like to do, Anna said. I have the perfect idea, Elsa told her. That night, the sky over Arendelle was filled with stars. The northern lights shimmered in the distance. They were so bright they lit up the entire village. Anna and Elsa were sitting comfortably in the back of a beautiful flag. The royal coachman was taking them for a ride under the stars. This was a wonderful idea, Anna said. I thought you'd like it, Elsa replied. There's no pickled herring in sight. Anna laughed. She glanced at Elsa. These past few weeks, they had been spending more and more time together. They had gone ice fishing with Kristoff and paid a visit to Oak and Sauna. Anna realized that it didn't matter what kind of adventure they had. As long as she and Elsa were together, they had fun. It had been that way even when they were little girls. In Anna's earliest memories, she and Elsa played together all the time. Anna felt happy when she thought of those childhood days. 
but when she tried to recall specific things, she only remembered laughter and snow. In the sleigh, under the beautiful winter sky, Anna furrowed her brow. There had to be more than just laughter and snow. She was sure of it. What's wrong? Elsa asked, noticing her sister's expression. Nothing, Anna said. Remember how we used to play together as girls? Yes, Elsa replied, smiling. Anna chewed her lower lip. There was something nagging at her. Well, I'm not sure I do, she said uneasily. We have reached the end of the story. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with Luna on Teep Kid Channel. Bye. I'll see you next time.